Hello there! Welcome to We Are Crafted in His Image. Today we are starting a new Coco and Crafts. We are starting, we're going to be using the Wisteria Wishes stamp set. I actually had a special request for this one. Um, and this is what is included in the Coco and Crafts kit for this month. You get the Wisteria Wishes stamp set. You have Garden Green ink. You have Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. And I know they look very similar here, but they are not. This one is actually quite a bit deeper than this one is, but they look similar with the stickers. I think my stickers have faded a little, maybe. Um, then you also have, of course, some chocolate. Yummy, yummy. We're gonna make a treat box later on to put that chocolate in. And then we have the four projects. And as you can see, we're using lovely shades of purple this month. So let's get started. I am going to pull out my kit, um, starting with this one here, and we have, this is the card that we are going to make today. As you can see, it's this pretty, whoops, <laughs> as I drop it, pretty wisteria, or uh, yeah, wisteria vines, and then on the inside we have a pretty sentiment. So let's go ahead and get started on this project. Here's our envelope. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think we have anything in the envelopes today. Nope, they are empty. We do have, let me get my cleaning stuff set up over here. We have several pieces. Now I have enough to make two in mine, but I'm only gonna make one. So I'm gonna set aside one of everything here. We have our bases. We have some bricks. We have some more purple and two different sizes in the white. The smaller one is for the outside, the larger is for your inside. So let's go ahead and get our stuff that we're going to stamp on. Oh, grab my other one. We've got a large and a small. Make sure I have the right one for each. Although they're both stamped very similarly. And I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper to put over top of my pretty. Oh, actually. I don't need it. To, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Put this over top of the pretty so I don't mess it up. And we need our vines. We need our flowers. We need our accent flowers. We'll start with that. So we need a large block. Maybe larger than that. Oh, no. I think I can fit it on there. Yay! And then small block for this one and large block for this one there we go now we are going to start with let's see let's do the inside of our card first <coughs> excuse me and I'm gonna go ahead and open up my inks put them in front of me and hopefully won't mess up our screen um or just scrape needs to go over here. It is the darker of the two. Highland Heather. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I'm still on the screen a little bit. Actually, pull those up. So, start with inking up our branch. Now, the key thing when you're stamping this one is you can see it's got some vines hanging down, and you want to make sure those vines actually hang down, that you don't end up making them go sideways, angled, whatever. So those are the parts you need to kind of watch when you're stamping this one. And I am going to stamp it off of the page a little bit, but, <coughs> excuse me, um, right about there. That looks good. <coughs> And I'm just going to leave that aside because we're going to need it again for the front. And then you making sure you're using the Highland Heather next and line up the top of those flowers with the bottom of the vines. Stamp that down. And then we need this little stamp here. We're going to grab some gorgeous grape. And that just adds a little extra coloration to your flowers um, so they're not flat. They look like there's lots of different flower buds on there <coughs> and then we're gonna do the even when you don't understand and I prefer to do that with my Stamparatus so I'm gonna grab that out um, usually when I'm doing words I do like to try and do them with the Stamparatus just so I make sure that they're straight uh, although the, this is a photopolymer set so it's not as difficult to get it straight 
even when you don't understand. So I'm going to set this right down here, line it up. Now if you're doing a lot of these, this is a great way to do it because then you don't have to reline it up each time, You just it's already ready to go. But after I put it on, I like to take it off, the, off of here and just looking at the lines, trying to make sure that my words look like they are nice and straight to those lines. There we go. And then I'm going to ink that up with the gorgeous grape. Make sure that your paper's in the corner. And there we go. Nice and straight. And I'm actually going to leave this on here so when I do my other one it'll be ready to go. But I am going to clean it so I don't make a mess. There we go. So that Actually, take this one off because I'm going to use the other one for the front when I get ready for the front part. <clears throat> so... <coughs> Excuse me, where's our front piece? There it is. Now the front of the card is very similar, but I wanted it to look a little more lush. So I'm going to pull this down a little further so I can add an extra branch in. So whereas on the inside I had it going off the page, this one I'm going to bring it down. Um, probably about here. And then I'm going to clean my stamp because what I want to do now is I just want to try to ink the leaves and not necessarily those three vines. Um, so by looking through here, I can kind of see. And if I do get a little bit on the vines, I can use a little chamois or something to wipe it off. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp this up in this area over here. There we go. And then in the stamp set there is a small leaf cluster. And I'm going to come in. I didn't do this on my original, but I am going to do it on this one. And I'm going to see this area here is kind of blank. I'm going to add another set of leaves there just to kind of fill that in. <clears throat> I want this to look like a very lush vine. So now let's grab, I need to pull these up on here so they're not wobbly our lighter color again this is the Highland Heather stamp our flower clusters then grab our details in the darker color there we go and <clears throat> bring back my Stamparatus again so that I can make sure my words are nice and straight so again <coughs> Faith is about trusting. Lay it where I want it to be in about the general area. Put it on here. And then just check to see that it is straight on one of those lines. And the lines are kind of hard to see when it's down. So that's why I like to lift it up, look through the light. Okay. Now... Let's get our gorgeous scrape. Make sure we're inked well. Make sure we're in the corner. And stamp. Ta da! Alright, let me clean this one and set that aside. Okay, so now what we're going to do. Um, but um, we do have a little bit more inking to do. Actually, we don't. This next step is optional. Because you do not have this color in your kit you can leave this just like this and it's gonna look lovely but if you want to you can see on mine <coughs> that I used a little bit of crumb cake ink and a blending brush and I just kind of wiped over the whole thing and I'm going to show you that real quick um, crumb cake or any of the lighter brown soft suede would give you a deeper effect but I'm gonna grab out crumb cake let me find my brown blending brush there it is and we're just going to rub over and I'm not even worried about if I have splotchy spots because this is brick. Brick is all going to be disc, it's not going to be all one color. So, and you don't have to do a lot of it because not a lot of that paper is going to show. But I'm going to do all the way around the edges. 
And again, this stuff is totally optional. <clears throat> if you don't have a brown blend or a blending brush, you could use a sponge. You could use a sponge dauber. And just get the little bit of color on those bricks so they're not all one solid color. There we go. Actually, I think I'm going to like deepen up one area. There we go. <coughs> so, I'm going to put the crumb cake away. And now I'm going to get some things ready. Let's go ahead and start. Oh, we can't quite assemble yet. First thing I'm going to do is take this one and I'm going to gently tear across the bottom slightly higher here and then work my way down through the across the flowers below the flowers there we go and then bring in my purple panel that I've already cut and now I'm going to adhere this piece onto the purple panel on one end. There we go. And now I'm going to tear that purple panel kind of following the same lines that I did on the white. Like that. And there we go. Now we can assemble our card. So we have our card base. I'm going to scooch those out of the way. <laughs> Grab a bone folder. Let's do the inside so I don't forget it like I did on my last video that I made. Where's my adhesive? <coughs> yep, still fighting the allergies here. Oh, I think I'm just allergic to Wisconsin in general. Alright, ooh, almost put that in upside down. Let's adhere this on the bottom inside then our different layers we're going to start with our brick first oh am I almost out no I'm not out it moved off the side there we go aha easy fix now because this panel has been embossed and it's not a flat sheet I'm going to go ahead and put a little more adhesive than I normally do and now I'm putting the part that I sponged at the bottom. And this has a very, very thin, thin layer border around it. There we go. Oh, I can move this out of the way. <clears throat> and then we're going to go ahead and put adhesive on. This is the piece that we already glued together that's been torn. And now I'm just going to line this up at the top, making sure I have even borders on those three edges. All right. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to stamp the envelope. Our card is finished. There's our card. Done. But I do need to do the envelope. And I'm going to go ahead and pull my scrap paper back in here. I'm glad I didn't clean up anything yet. Got all the colors and inks already out here. This one is super simple. We're gonna, I love this, this stamp set because it is such a pretty stamp set, but it's also very simple. Three steps and you have a beautiful accent on your card or your envelope. I mean, how quick is this? One, two, and three, finished. Voila. Now for this one here, your, your address is going to have to go above that, but I just thought it needed to go in that corner. It just had to. <laughs> so we have a finished card. <coughs> I actually have two finished cards here. And as you can see, the color will lighten up a little bit. That, that Highland Heather will get a little bit lighter as it dries. So there you have it. First card in this class finished. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, God's love and blessings to you. Bye.